Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we are talking about enhanced logic elements, right? Last time I announced it's about memory, but however I want to give you a brief overview before we come to memory, what, why it is necessary. Okay, why it is necessary? Well, up to now we only had logic circuits where we had a bunch of inputs, a bunch of outputs, and the state of the inputs to somehow are processed yeah, and are uh, influencing the output. However, there's no history, there's no timing, there's nothing. All right? So it might happen uh, that we want to react on an input change, but only over a certain time. Okay? I show you, I show you what I mean. I show you what I mean. Let's say we have some some logic circuit. Yeah? Doesn't really matter what it is inside now. Yeah? So I make here a big question mark. Whatever is inside there should not bother us right now. We only want to have the outside view. You know? And we say we have one input and one output, huh? whatever is inside there. We yet we don't yet know. Yeah? So we have here an xi, yeah? and we have a y output. Huh? So what could be possibilities? Hmm? Let's say we have an xi, Looking like this, at a certain point in time, yeah, the xi is changing to 1. Yeah. Here, here we have logically 1. Yeah. So this should be our input xi. Yeah. And the output, yeah, y, this could look like this, for instance, here it's 0. Here we are changing also to 1, and after a certain amount of time, we are changing back to 0. This is the time here, t. And here we have a certain, we have an impulse, so we have an impulse time ti. So one steady input is produce, producing only one impulse at the output. What would be a proper example? Yeah. So in example, this would be a doorbell. So I press the button, ding, then it's gone. Yeah. Release the button, press the second time, ding. I can stay on the button. So the doorbell is not that annoying anymore. <laughs> so this would be one possibility. Yeah, one possibility. Then another possibility possibility would be, for instance, like that. Long possibility. <laughs> so here, oh, maybe I should write here why also. Yeah. Here again, we have somewhere one state. Here we have logically one, and we say, all right, we have the input, and the input is changing to one, and after a certain time, it disappears. What might the output do? So we have again here xi. What might the output y do? It might change. And here, it might stay on, okay? And after a certain amount of time, yeah, undefined, undefined amount of time, we do have a second impulse on the input, and the output, it will stay, yeah, and here, with the second impulse, it might get down. Hmm? 
This would be, for instance, I don't know, uh, a button. Yeah? This would be, input would be a button, and if I press the button once, yeah, light turns on. If I press the button a second time, light turns off. Yeah? So, in example, light button. Not a switch, a button. Just press, release. Yeah? Light button. So here we have to store somehow if this is the first or the second time. Yeah? And of course it would also be possible that we have here input output and the shorter possibility once again and we have here one again somewhere <laughs> xi how might xi look this time we have an impulse and the impulse is of a certain length, Ti, huh? impulse length, input length, Ti. Yeah? And then we have, of course, our output, and our output would react uh, like that. Zzz, go to one, Whoa, and after a while it will also disappear. Huh? So there is Ti, the output length. Tiao, Tio, Tiao, Ao, Tio. Yeah? And this Tio might be bigger than Ti, yeah? or Tio might also be smaller than Ti, it doesn't really matter. Yeah? So both things are, are imaginable. Yeah? So this would, for instance, be, uh, I don't know, a stairway light. Huh? In example, stairway light. So we press a button, then the light turns on, and after a certain amount of time, the light will automatically be switched off, because the stairway, you know, it's a, it's a stairway in a big building or something like this, so nobody cares about turning it off, so it will automatically turn off. I think everybody of you know such such things yeah and those things are not too exotic i would say yeah we found for every of these things we found we found examples so immediately yeah and everyday examples not like Ooh, uh, we can think about ah uh, and no those things happen yeah so we need things yeah we need timers so we need to measure or delay something yeah and we need memory those are the two things we have to think about. Next thing we talk about is timers. So we're talking about timers, and then we're going to talk about memory. The timers next in next video, they are not really heavily in use anymore. However, I think it provides some understanding uh, of how such um, elements work internally, right? So this is why I want to show you also those analog timers, uh, how they used to work and how they are, and what the issues are, uh, only briefly, uh, even if they are not used anymore very widely. Uh, so next video, timers. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.